One of the biggest challenges of being a data engineer is the fact that you often get put right in the middle of a much bigger architecture. There's a lot going on. There's seemingly a million different components, and it's kind of overwhelming to figure out what is actually important and what do you need to focus on. So in today's video, I want to talk about what I'm calling the three pillars of data engineering. And these are things that I've noticed are kind of universal throughout any team that I've ever joined. And it's going to hopefully help you more easily and quickly understand any architecture that you're on. So number one, any team and any company that you're gonna work for, if they're working with data, they're definitely gonna have multiple source systems. So maybe that's an internal application, maybe they have different third-party advertising platforms, you know, whatever it is, every company is really at the core, just a combination of all of these different systems at play. And as a data engineer, it's our job to take all of the information from those sources and make sense of them and make use of it. So the first pillar is identifying those source systems and the source integrations if they exist already. So an example here might be, um, you know, maybe there's 20 different sources that are connected through a, a tool like Fivetran or Airbyte, and they're being captured that way, or maybe there's some custom Python script. It's probably going to be a combination of a bunch of things, but the first pillar, like I said, is gonna be identifying those sources and identifying the ways that they're being captured. Now, number two is the data warehouse. And for me, anytime I join a new team or I get on a new project, the first thing I'm looking for is this data warehouse. Maybe it's on Snowflake, maybe it's on BigQuery, Redshift, doesn't really matter. This to me is the hub of any architecture. And as a data engineer, it's probably the most important thing you should look for. Because as we mentioned, the first thing is figuring out where all the sources are. It's one thing to uh, capture and identify the sources. It's another thing to organize them. And the data warehouse is where all that organization and logic is going to be happening. So a rule of thumb, again, at least for me that I follow is to first identify that data warehouse and then notice how everything else moves around it. So an example here, again, let's say the warehouse is on Snowflake. Once you figure that out, you can say, okay, the sources are coming from Airbyte or from Fivetran or from custom Python scripts, and they're being loaded into there. I can see that. And then I can see that maybe DBT is running and connecting to Snowflake and then Tableau or Power BI is connecting there as well for all the reporting needs. So again, once you figure that out, you can kind of see everything else around it. That's why pillar number two is the data warehouse. And that's to me what I call the hub of everything else that's going on. And now number three is figuring out how is the business or the team deriving insights from everything that you're doing? Because if you think about it, this is all pretty complicated. We're making the source integrations and the data warehouse. All this is expensive and takes time and we don't just do it for fun. There's a real reason why we're doing this. And usually it's to make better decisions, get insights on your data. So that's why it's really important to figure out how this is being done. So again, common examples here would be reporting tools like uh, Tableau, Power BI, Looker, Metabase, superset, whatever that is, or maybe it's just Excel sheets, maybe it's being sent on a data stream somewhere else, whatever that is, figure out how the business and how the uh, stakeholders are using this data to get insights, because really that's the end product of everything we're doing. And I think it's important to keep that in mind. So to bring it all back together here, the three pillars of data engineering every time I join a team are number one, identifying the sources, number two, figuring out where the data warehouse is and using that as the hub. And number three, figuring out how insights are gathered from this data. And at the end of the day, most of what you do will fall between those three components and everything else is kind of filling in the gaps. So I hope you found this helpful. If you want more information on some of the components and the different uh, things that we talked about in this video, I have a free guide. I call it the starter guide for the modern data stack. I'll leave a link for that in the description. And again, thank you for watching and I'll see you at the next video.